Currently, BTC is the biggest pipeline project in the world. A $3 billion investment by 11 international companies. Over 11,000 people and 52 million man-hours will be needed to build it. 445 kilometers in Azerbaijan. 245 kilometers in Georgia. And 1,070 kilometers in Turkey. Once complete, BTC will make a positive difference by bringing significant benefits to the region. It will create substantial revenues for the transit countries and will help strengthen economic and political links between Azerbaijan, Georgia, Turkey and the West. The success of BTC should also boost investor confidence in the region and create the potential to stimulate wider development. By avoiding the Bosphorus, BTC will relieve the inevitable growth in oil-related traffic and its associated environmental risks to the Turkish Straits. Today, over 11,000 people are working hard to finish BTC on time without bringing any harm to people or lasting damage to the environment. BTC passes 450 settlements without displacing any people or homes. The project is a product of unprecedented consultation, especially with those most directly affected. Wherever possible, BTC avoids sensitive habitats and its design studies have made a significant contribution to scientific understanding of the region and its archaeological heritage. The project buys goods and services from local companies and up to 70% of the workforce are hired in the immediate area. Environmental and community investment programs aim to bring sustainable benefits along the route. BTC construction is ongoing at 17 sites from the Caspian to the Mediterranean. The progress has reached 50% as of February 2004 and the project is on track to deliver first oil in 2005. Up to now, the huge construction team has recorded 34 million kilometers driven and over 20 million man-hours worked with only 15 day away from work cases. In Azerbaijan, BTC is progressing on schedule. At Sangachal Terminal, work on the BTC expansion program requires new oil processing and storage facilities. Pipe laying is progressing well and will be complete by the end of 2004. In Georgia, 245 kilometers of pipe laying continues despite seasonal challenges. The pipeline team is working to deliver the project at the end of 2004. Construction at the pumping stations is also well underway. Most of the workers are Georgian nationals and have been recruited from nearby towns and villages. In Turkey, where the pipeline route reaches 2,800 meters at its highest point, the topsoil is covered with snow six months a year. But construction teams continue work despite harsh weather conditions. Contractors continue their work as long as seasonal conditions allow safe operation, which is the highest priority. And in Jehan, from where BTC will deliver Caspian oil to world markets, construction is on track. BTC will make Jehan one of the most important oil terminals in the global energy network. As construction advances, the financing of BTC is also being completed. 
25 international finance institutions and banks have come together to loan $2.3 billion in one of the most complex project finance arrangements ever undertaken for an oil industry project. The agreements were sealed in February 2004 in Baku. Oil for BTC will be extracted from offshore fields approximately 120 kilometers southeast of Baku in about 120 meters depth. An international partnership is continuing work on phase one and two of the Azeri Chirak field development. The entire ACG field has estimated recoverable reserves of 5.4 billion barrels of oil. Azeri Chirak Güneşli will produce 1 million barrels per day in 2010, following the completion of phase three. And first oil will be ready to be transported from the Azeri development in 2005. Once BTC is complete, it will take Azeri oil 10 days to make this exciting journey from the Caspian to the Mediterranean. And operations are set to continue for at least 40 years. BTC will be buried throughout the entire 1,760 kilometers. It will be safe, silent and unseen. But its benefits will be visible and can change the future of Azerbaijan, Georgia and Turkey.